Hey, Tom from the Corona team here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into what we've been working on for Corona 9. Uh, a lot of it's under the hood work, but we do have a couple of uh, very obvious visible features that we'll be showcasing here. We're just going to cover them very briefly. It's not a tutorial. Um, these you can try out in the daily build for yourself if you want to give them a go. Um, so let's dive right in on uh, what you can expect in Corona 9. So oh, the first thing we want to show you uh, are the new procedural clouds. The crystal clear blue skies are very nice, but uh, not what you need in every scene and every render. So the procedural clouds will let you add clouds to your sky that you control the amount, the shape, the position, and all of that can be animated. This means you can have your clouds form over time or dissipate over time. You can have them move across the sky. And of course, they'll respond to the position and therefore the color of the sun. So you can have sunrises with clouds, sunsets with clouds, etc. Uh, we think you'll find this feature super useful and, in fact, a great deal of fun. So, the next thing we'd like to give a quick demo of is the Corona pattern. The easiest way to think of this is it's like tiling actual geometry across a surface in the same way as you would tile a bitmap. Uh, now, the advantage of this is rather than rely on alpha maps for holes and displacement for raised or indented geometry, you'll use actual geometry. Uh, it doesn't get any more realistic than that. The beauty of the pattern approach is it does not require uh, that much RAM. It basically just uses the RAM for the source geometry that you're cloning. So you can have a million clones and it won't take up any additional RAM. Use cases, the, the most easy to think of is something like a chain link fence. Um, another common use would be something like knitted fabric. Uh, where you could both capture the weave and any fibers coming from it. Um, but there are a lot of other uses too. We'll explore those in tutorials once Corona 9 itself is out. And we've added several smaller improvements too. The fisheye camera now supports depth of field. Uh, we've improved the usability of material overrides by adding preserve options for the slicer, opacity, and bump. And we've reduced the amount of texture memory required for Corona bitmaps if you take advantage of the new out-of-core texture rendering. We'll have full details of those when Corona 9 releases. Much of this you can try for yourself in the daily builds. So head on over to the forums to grab those if you want to give it a go. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing what you think and what you make with all these new features in Corona 9.